हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज़ राजीव हाउ यू डूइंग वेलकम बैक टू आवृत्ति वंस अगेन एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द डिफरेंस बिटवीन अ मूवी क्लिप सिंबल एंड अ ग्राफिक सिंबल इन अडोब एनीमेड टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन नाउ विल स्टार्ट विद न्यू फाइल एक्शन स्क्रिप्ट थ्री पॉइंट जीरो एंड बिफोर आई टेल यू द डिफरेंसेस आई वॉन्ट यू टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस लिटिल कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ प्रिव्यूइंग मॉड्स इन फ्लैश और एनीमेट ओके सो basically there are two ways how we can preview our work in animate one is in editing mode that means if i am working on a project and i want to see how it plays or appears after animating it i can see it in the editing mode by hitting enter on the keyboard like this so i have a very simple motion tween here and i can preview it by hitting enter on the keyboard so what that does is plays only the current timeline the current timeline in this case that happens to be also the main timeline another way of previewing it is by pressing control enter which is equivalent to publishing it to a flash player control enter plays it separately in a flash player this is the flash player default flash player comes with adobe anime 2017 i'll just close it now there are two different ways now i'm going to just you know make a box here uh, make another separate layer here and uh, i want you to understand this first before we you know move to the main objective of this tutorial which is to understand difference between movie clip and graphic so that was two different ways how we can preview and in both the ways there is one little thing we need to understand that what i am doing here is i am creating a nested movie clip i am going to change its color so that it can be visible so here i have a movie clip this black big rectangle inside that i have created a separate layer and i have created another movie clip on which i am going to put animation and i am going to extend this bottom rectangle till the end of the animation and i am going to put motion tween on it as well so if i hit enter right now it is going to play the current timeline now it's not playing this animation which is on the main timeline on the scene one but rather it only addresses to the animation inside the symbol 2 so it is established now that enter only plays the current timeline in the editing mode but if i hit control enter regardless of where i am either i'm inside symbol 2 or symbol 1 or scene 1 or any anywhere else if i hit control enter that's going to publish the entire movie and shows us the preview in the flash player okay and we can see that both the timelines are playing fine so having understood it let's move to the difference between movie clip and graphic now there is a third type of symbol also buttons but buttons is very obvious to understand so i am not bringing that into the discussion here i'll say control and to open up a new file again make sure it is action script 3.0 file say okay and we are quickly going to create two different symbols one obviously is going to be a movie clip and another one is going to be a graphic symbol so i'm going to convert this into a movie clip let's just write mc for movie clip here and make sure that the type is movie clip say okay select this one say f8 and we'll choose graphic and call this one graphic okay fine so i'm going to go inside movie clips timeline lock this one and create another layer on top of it and i'm going to put a small animation just a simple motion tween let's change its color to black or a darker gray uh, let's change it to black and then i'm going to convert this into a movie clip and say okay so i have this movie clip inside the movie clip on which i am putting motion tween I need to extend this background also till the end of the animation. So I'll select the last frame and then say F5 on the keyboard, 
let's select the last frame and then click and drag it to create the moves in between if i hit enter on the keyboard we all know that it's going to play the current timeline which it does flawlessly i'm gonna come back to scene one repeat the same steps here inside this graphic symbol as well first we're gonna lock the layer create another layer on top of it and create a rectangle a square in this case and convert this into a movie clip and put animation on it we need to extend the background till the last frame of the animation and if i hit enter we all know the current timeline is gonna play everything seems fine let's go back to scene one things look very very normal here if i hit enter right now nothing is going to happen we all know that the enter is only able to play current timeline and right now the current timeline which is also the main timeline in this case is only having one single frame and that frame contains a movie clip with animation and a graphic symbol with animation so let's publish our movie and then see control enter and after publishing the movie we realize that only the movie clips timeline is playing and the graphics timeline the bottom one the graphics timeline is stagnant so what that says that movie clips timeline is independent of main timeline so regardless of how many frames or space we have on the main timeline the movie clip is gonna follow its own timeline and keep on playing and looping while the graphic symbol demands for the equal number of frames on the main timeline so that it can play so what we gonna do here we gonna extend this main timeline till 15th frame by saying f5 on the keyboard the moment i have introduced more frames here notice the graphic symbol also plays along with the main timeline so movie clips timeline is independent of main timeline and graphics timeline is dependent on the main timeline this is the difference number one between movie clip and graphic symbol okay now another difference here is I'm just gonna test the movie once again and you will see at this time the graphic symbol plays but it only starts from the first frame goes to the 15th frame and loops back okay because its timeline is connected with the timeline of the, uh, of, the of the main timeline while the movie clip plays without you know considering the main timeline okay so uh, another difference is that we can use this in action scripting that means i can give instance name to this movie clip if i select the movie clip in the properties panel i have the option of giving it an instance name while the graphic doesn't offer any choice of giving that an instance name now the benefit of that is that we can control this with action scripting so what we can do i'm just gonna pull these two little down what we can ha uh, do here, we can create another layer and we can have a button. All right, I'll say F8, say OK. Oh, sorry, sorry. I need to convert this into a button, not a movie clip. I'm going to choose button and then say OK. Now, this is a button. Now, let's say that I want this movie clip to be stopped when the pl movie plays. So, I'm going to put a stop on the first frame. I'll go to code snippets and find out under the timeline navigation stop at this frame double click on this and what it does it makes the movie clip stop on the first frame itself so if i test the movie the current timeline is gonna play along with graphics timeline but the movie clips timeline is following the command stop so it is stop now i can join this button with this particular movie clip and when the user clicks on this button this movie clip is gonna play so for that we need to give both of it instance names so button symbol can have an instance name i'll just type play underscore mc okay and this one i'm gonna call uh, box underscore mc fine so i can select this one go here and from the mouse click events under event handlers i can apply a script and change its function to box underscore mc dot play open and close parenthesis and the statement with a semicolon and then say control enter 
now again the same thing is there but this time we have linked this button with this movie clip so what this does when i click on it it starts playing from the first frame and then when it reaches back at the first frame it again reads this script which makes it stop all right so this is the benefit of movie clip over graphic symbol and the main differences between these two main differences between these two are movie clip is independent of main timeline while graphic is not movie clip can have an instance name and can be called into action scripting while graphic cannot thank you so much for staying till the end of this video i hope this is helpful for you and if you like the content please do subscribe it really fuels me up and your suggestions and queries are most welcome in the comment box i really would love to hear from you please thank you so much